Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. My name is Andrew Townsend. I'm the Campaign Marketing Manager here with eLearning Brothers. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get better learner insights with our Rockstar LMS, the eLearning Brothers LMS. This session will be recorded, and we will email a copy of it out to everybody who has registered. So if you have to step out or uh, if you want to review this again at a later date, you'll have that uh, access. If you have questions during the webinar, please use the questions panel. That is part of the GoToWebinar control panel. Looks like some of you have already found that. So uh, please do use that, and we'll get to as many of your questions as we can. All right, so to talk to us about uh, our LMS, we have Peter Getchell, the Senior LMS LXP Solutions Consultant, here with us. Thanks, Peter, for your time. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and pass the screen and the time over to you. Perfect. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to um, spend some time with everyone and, and show them some cool things about the Knowledge Link LMS LXP, specifically, um, you know, the Knowledge Pilot feature that's built in. So let me share my screen. I'm going to show you a few things. Andrew, just confirm that you can see a eLearning Brothers slide. I see PowerPoint. Yep. Perfecto. So what I'm going to do is just walk you through a couple of things to talk high level and then jump into the application because what better way to show it to you um, than inside of a live application. So what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> tell you a little bit about eLearning Brothers. Obviously, if everyone's on this call, they're pretty familiar with eLearning Brothers, but you know there's always a lot of great things happening. So I wanted to kind of touch on a couple of things. Again, my name is Peter Getcho. I'm the senior LMS LXP solutions consultant. So I work a lot with people on deploying and delivering knowledge and implementations and finding the best ways to you know build adoption strategies in their organizations um, from an e-learning brothers perspective you know everyone who's been keeping up to date with the pr news wires and and e-learning industry news that's going on there's a lot going on especially around e-learning brothers everyone knows e-learning brothers from you know years and years of creating awesome e-learning content e-learning content that rocks with our custom solutions department, um, all the great asset libraries, the templates that they give and make available to people so they can build their own awesome e-learning content, um, the training arcade gamification tools that build content as well. But you know, earlier this year, we acquired a company called Knowledge Inc., which is what I'm going to show you today, uh, the Knowledge Inc. LMS LXP, to deliver all that great content out there to your users and the authoring tool of Lectora, Snare VR, giving you the tools and functionality to build your own awesome e-learning content bundled with the asset library and things like that. So lots of great things happening and they continue to evolve over the you know, course of the next couple of months. You're gonna hear a lot more buzz around LXP, LXP building the Knowledge Inc. application into more an immersive learning platform to handle all of the different experiences. Uh, why that's so important because knowledge pilots already built into knowledge link it's been utilized by by many companies to deliver that adaptive learning feel and that's kind of what we're going to touch on but again lots more coming from the lxp side of things um you know coming down the pipe so we're going to talk again knowledge pilot is the tool in knowledge link our lms lxp that allows you to kind of assess users coming in and provide these personalized user paths and you know, it's important because users want to have a guided path when they're taking content. They don't want to just be dumped in a platform um, and have them find their way. So we're all, Knowledge Inc. is all about personalization, personalized experience when they come in, personalized look and feel, personalized paths of learning specific to what their needs and possibly weaknesses are based on certain assessments. Um, this is important and very important to users because you know, you don't want to have many hurdles and, and stumbling blocks for people when they're coming into the learning platform. You want them to really have a vested interest in learning and learning about the things they want to know about. So that's why personalization, they don't feel like they're just getting dumped on with, you know, the entire library of content for them to pick and choose what they want. If you can adapt it ever so slightly to give them that personalization, that really matters in your in your user's eyes. Um, and it, we adapt it to linear versus adaptive. So I, someone in our office came up with this great ter term. You know, if we were driving from New York City to Salt Lake City, would we take a road atlas or a GPS? We think of the traditional learning paths as more of like the road atlases. You know, you're taking, you know, Route 66 across here, just do what the map says, as opposed to doing what your GPS says. And that's where the adaptive learning comes in. You may test out of certain things that aren't important to you, 
and have a you know basically a very very much um, adaptive learning path that is specific to your weaknesses and where you could um, build out better skill sets on. And that's what we're going to talk about a bit about today with knowledge with knowledge pilot. Um, this is a cool cool quote that came through um, back in the early 1980s. Adaptive questioning determines current knowledge state and delivers targeted instructions on the topics each student is most ready to learn. And that's a big key aspect of Knowledge Pilot. And again, bringing that adaptive learning into um, the LMS technology. These are some important screens. Again, we're gonna look at them live in a second, but it's all about capturing the results of your users. Again, we're going to show you how to assess and really find out where their skill set weaknesses are. And again, if they are, the goal is if they are competent in certain skill sets, let them pass on and go to the next round of training. If they find weaknesses in certain competencies, hey, recommend them um, automatic training, again, adaptive learning. And that's all about what Knowledge Inc. provides, that, in, that enrollment capabilities for the skill set competencies that they're weakness on. And then obviously there's recommended courses and, and analytics for you to see on the back end. Um, so again, a lot about adaptive learning, personalized training, the right content at the right time, real-time analytics for the admins on the back end to see how those users are actually adapting to the content. And then again, continue refining and refocusing that content in those adaptive learning paths. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into, if this works right, my screen here. Now we're going to be coming into the front door of the Knowledge Inc. LMS. And again, um, most of you have probably seen or heard a little bit about the Knowledge Inc. LMS, you know, the cloud-based architecture up on Amazon fully responsive, and it's really to be deployed in organizations to deliver training out to your different users. But again, very specifically, personalized training to your users, whether you use Knowledge Pilot in the system or you just have your own learning paths in there. It's a very flexible platform that allows you to build out the structure of your courses any way you want and kind of deliver a very personalized experience for this user. So I am physically logging into my demo environment as a user, and again, this dashboard that I see when I come in is very much crafted to who I am, what I should see. This scenario, I'm making it all about the knowledge pilot assessment. Lots of LMSs, you know, and again, you could basically load this up with very important featured content that I, I want my users to see. There's your sexual harassment discrimination course, here's your cybersecurity course. Very much, there's a purpose for those. They must take them every year. You can feature them. You could also just automatically enroll them. But this scenario we're looking at, I'm not enrolled into anything yet. I could be from the admin, but in this scenario, I'm going to let Knowledge Pilot do the enrolling for me because maybe I don't know what I should be taking as a user. Um, but no, Knowledge Pilot, Knowledge Link, the LMS LXP, can be configured so you can auto enroll people when they come in, feature things based on their role. Um, but again, I'm going to let Knowledge Pilot do this for me now. So I'm in as a user, obviously this platform can be white labeled, branded for any organization, any company that's using it. We also give you the ability to then brand it for other departments, divisions, partners and clients that might be coming into the system as well. Um, so that's all great for the LMS side of things. But what we're gonna look at here is Knowledge Pilot. So I've been featured one aspect of the site. I've been featured Knowledge Pilot. And then when I go into Knowledge Pilot, this is basically just a module in the system. And what it's going to do essentially is take me to um, the Knowledge Pilot assessment. So now here is the tool inside the LMS called Knowledge Pilot. We have a on the back end, I'll show you a little bit about that. There's a back end administration system that allows you to build really fancy custom assessments, randomization, lots of permissions and settings on this assessment. But the real goal is to tie a certain competency assessment to a course of content on the front end of Knowledge Link. So what we're looking at here is essentially my assessment page. Again, all of this is customizable from the administrator of the LMS. You can change the welcome message. Everything um, is completely specific to what your needs are. So I can start this assessment here. Again, I'm in as a regular user of the LMS. I've taken right to the first Knowledge Pilot assessment, get my welcome message, and then I start. Now, you have some options here. Now, what we're looking at here is a little bit of demographic information. I think there's like seven or eight different options you can choose from. I've narrowed down just four that I want to gather for my organization as the admin, because I might want to know, you know where these users are coming from, what region, what's their position. 
totally optional option. You could just jump them right into the actual assessment. But here I want to capture a little data because data is king. It's very important. The more you collect, the more you know segmentations you can do with your different users in, in your field tours. So for this purpose, I am part of the Northeast sales rep, zero to four advertising and marketing. I might be part of the energy group. This is just to capture it and store it on my user record on the back end and let you run some analysis later. Um, now I'm going to do a self-assessment. Again, something you can turn on and off. You could just jump from right to the assessment, but now I want something to compare it to, some type of benchmark. I want to assess how do my users actually think they are in certain competencies. So now I've included two competencies in this one. Again, you could have as many as you want. There's no limit to the amount of competencies or skill sets assessments you can have in here. I am just randomizing two different competencies. And instead of doing a long drawn out one, I have two questions in each category. And specifically, you can set the, um, you know, you can set the pass fail and so forth on the back end. But in this case, I am now getting my two assessments, managing your time. How do I feel like I am? I think I am um, proficient in that. And I think it's very important to my role. And then I go to the next one. Again, another self-assessment for prospecting. I think I am excellent at it. And I think it's very important as well. And then done. So now I've done the demographics. I've done the pre-assessment, like the, you know, how I feel like I am. So I have something to compare to. Again, those are optional. But now I get to the core assessment. Now, again, our assessment builder lets you create, you know, a robust assessments, um, really weighting each of the questions to see, you know, did they get it right? Did they get it wrong? And then there's also variations of right and wrong. So you can weight each question differently so they get the actual accumulated score in the back end. So I have two questions per, now it's not telling me which groups they're in, so it's all randomized. So I am now gonna assess how I actually am on those two competencies. So my first sales activity, I check social media. How do I close out my day? I review my day and focus on the positives and where I can improve. Um, so I can say that one. How do you uncover new opportunities? I wait for new leads to come in for my manager. I complain. What do I do when they aren't depleted? I complain to my manager. Obviously, probably not the right question, um, but let's see if I pass or fail. So now it's compiling my data again. Those questions, those assessments could be, you know, as long as you want, as detailed as you want. And again, don't forget, they're all weighted. So there's some variation of right and wrong in each of them. Um, so when I view my results now, Knowledge Pilot is basically adapting that learning on the back end. So it's saying, all right, well, I actually got an average score of a 13 percent and my two my two skill set assessments capable in areas of opportunity. I need a lot of opportunity in managing and I basically flunked prospecting. So what's cool is this dashboard here for the user provides them a lot of, um, lot of information. They can go directly to the academy, which is their university on Knowledge Inc., which will auto enroll those two courses or whatever it thinks I should learn based on these two deficiencies. I can download the PDF and it gives them a beautiful looking PDF download that's branded for the organization because again, it carries over all the color schemes of your of your knowledge site and gives them a deep analysis into how they how they did on the actual assessment, pass fail, a, a synopsis and analysis on each question, how they answered it. It's it's really thorough, and then obviously everything gets emailed to the users directly after they do their assessment. So this is my little overview page showing me how I did. I can jump into the details and say, all right. Well, how did I do in managing your time? Well, I thought I was a 75%, but I actually scored a 25% based on my scores. And because of that, because there's a little bit of a deficiency possibly in my managing time, the system is gonna automatically generate an enrollment to me for Griffin Hill sales system. Again, whatever content you have in your LMS platform, this can draw from that library and assign them a, a prescriptive path of learning specific to their needs in this assessment. So that's saying I need the Griffin Hill sales. And if I did not pass in prospecting, which I thought I was an 88, but I really flunked this one with a 0%. Um, it's saying I really need this sales school course. So again, adapting to what I am weak or deficient in, uh, if I had seven competencies and I failed three, 
and I pass the other four, I would still only get three recommendations, not the other four. I'd basically pass those. Um, so I can get that. And then I have an overview of all of my recommended courses. Again, because I did not do well on those two deficiencies, I need help. It's recommending me this content. Now, what's cool is I can jump right into a particular one. I can go to my academy, however I want to get there. But when I click on, say, I want to, I want to jump into the sales training now. Now, this takes me directly into Knowledge Link, which again, Knowledge Pilot kind of sits on the back of it. And it's going to take me directly to the content in which I should be prescribed to now. Um, and more importantly, when I go back to the home page specifically, it's automatically being rolled to this user just like that, you know, automatically. Now, the big thing with enrollments in our system is email notifications dripping on the users with this content. They are now you know, in queue to get notifications around sales. I'm four of nine of the way done, continue to you know, start taking this content in course. Same with Grip and Health. I'm gonna get email notifications and reminders. And again, with enrollments, you can do you know, um, enrollment dates and expiration dates and all that fun stuff. But again, the big thing is the system is now taking over, adapting this learning directly to this user because this is where they need help. And the system's gonna generate email notifications, passing that data out to them. And again, I'll jump into this one just to kind of give you a little a glimpse of what's in here from a content perspective. And some of this kind of ties into the, the future LXP stuff. Obviously, KnowledgeLink can play and manage any type of industry standard type content, video, SCORM, XAPI, PDFs, MP3s, URLs, you name it. Um, but what this learning path here, while it's very personalized to me as a user of the system, it's kind of giving you a glimpse of all the great types of content you can have in an LMS like KnowledgeLink. Obviously, video, SCORM Interactive. Uh, this is actually part of our um, experience module that's in development now. So learning is not always about just what is in, you know, the on-demand platform. This is more about activities ha happening outside. So maybe I got a certification at a local, local testing center or something that I want to build into my transcript. I can have external activities in here as well. We have the Jeopardy games through the training arcade that we have um, a way to author it. Again, fun gamification type stuff. Rehearsal, which is video role play and practicing. So that could be an element inside of a learning path. So it doesn't just have to be a linear, you know, on-demand type of experience anymore. Um, it can be the true holistic view of learning for the individual users. Virtual events, training arcade, surveys, things like that. So. I have my work cut out for me in the sales course. Now I have to go in as a user and take it, complete it. My admin and my minister manager on the back end gets the um, reporting, and then I go on my way. So that's really, again, we weren't going to spend too much time in the LMS side. If there are questions about the LMS itself, I'm happy to spend some time with people, um, show them a little bit more in depth of the platform. But um, this is essentially the front end, and I'm going to jump to the back end now to show you how all of that knowledge pilot was done because again it's all about the assessment fine tuning those questions and answers and really relating those assessments to um you know relating them to the actual content that you already have in your library so if you notice i got auto enrolled these two i was featured with the assessment but there's a bunch of other content inside of this library that i have access to but again knowledge pilot drove me to the content that was very specific to me uh, so now if I go back here, and I'm going to log in as an administrator to show you some of the bells and whistles behind the scenes in Knowledge Pilot. So obviously, as an administrator of the, of the system, this is where you can really build out all the assessments and get all the user data and reporting out of it. So this is going to roll up all of those questions and answers that I've had across all of my different users taking it. And again, I can narrow it down by different assessments because you might have career mapping, you might have skill set assessments, you might have sales, marketing, all of your assessments are all rolled up here. And as you gr drill into each of them, it's going to give you different analytics and, and demographics for each one if you're capturing them. So if we were to look at the core companies, one that we we're looking at earlier, I've had seven users, 33 attempts. Um, and then I can really drill into all of the different unique information. So most people, 92% of them said they were great at this they actually scored more of like a 3%. Uh, so you have a lot of details. All of them allow you to click in and actually see who they are, who took it, what they scored. So if you notice here, a lot of people thought they were great with 100, but they actually scored zero. 
again, mostly demo information. Don't panic. Our, our team is not um, that unproficient in communication skills. This is just their assessment in, inside of Knowledge Pilot. But again, great assessment, great estimates, great scores. And all of them, as you can tell, are all exportable. So you can dig into that data further. Um, assessment performance, how are people doing? Again, seven people need improvement and out of seven, seven out of seven. Here, we got four that need improvement out of seven, which is embed, satisfactory. So you get a lot of details and analytics on all of the data that's being captured inside of those reports. Now, from an assessment perspective, this is basically an authoring tool. Um, for assessments. Very powerful information back here. Uh, there is a premium marketplace coming as far as having, you know, if you don't want to build your own assessments, you'll have the ability to choose from some off the shelf um, competency assessments, some for sales, some for leadership. Instead of you building it out, coming up with all the logic and algorithms, those premium assessments are available for you to basically just take it, get started with it right away. So as far as assessments goes, this these are the ones I have in here in this demo environment. I think we were looking at a sales assessment earlier. If I go into this one to kind of modify some of the general settings, you'll get a you get a feel for just how much you can do in this knowledge pilot assessment tool. Obviously, there's some general settings. You know, you control all of these factors of this assessment. What is the title? What groups of content should this one um, be tied to? Again, I have an LXP group inside of Knowledge Inc, which this basically pulls from. Um, the sender of the information is, is this email address. This is the person's name. So you control all of these settings. Lock assessment, if I don't want people to take it anymore, I can turn it on and off. Um, results verbiage, again, some people don't necessarily call it satisfactory needs improvement you can modify it to come with your nomenclature and your verbiage. Maybe capable skill is a um, positive and areas of opportunity are, are you know, best, best for the weakness side of things because people don't want to think they have weaknesses in certain things. So area of opportunity, capable skills, you can modify them all you want. Um, now the welcome screen, again, like we looked at that welcome message that came up when I logged in, you control all of that here with the WYSIWYG editor, make it, your messaging, your verbiage, all directly from them. Um, you control the email notification schedule, how notifications are sent out from the system. I have a congratulations email. I have an abandonment email. So when people start taking it and drop off, hey, it's been a while. Go back in and take this assessment. It's important to your career development, this and that. So you control all the email notifications, what they say, how often they're sent out. Um, you control those demographic questions. Like I said before, they're completely optional. I left them on. You can see my toggle here is turned on. If I decide I don't want to ask demographic questions, I can just turn this off and then it goes away. But I do have the ability to control what those demographic questions are. Which ones do I want to show? Which ones do I want to capture from the users? I can do self-assessment questions. Again, this is testing them. How do they think they are? You control all of them back here, your self-assessment questions, which ones you want to show, which ones you not want to show. Turn it on or off as you please. And then when you get into the actual assessment itself, you can import an entire CSV list of all your questions and answers so you don't have to manually type them in, or you can just start adding in questions. So if you notice, I had four questions in here. Here are essentially the questions. Questions, what category is it tied to? And the big thing with categories, you remember from the beginning, an assessment in Knowledge Pilot is essentially tied to a category or course of content and knowledge. So if I don't do well in this particular assessment, I am going to get um, you know, content assigned to me inside of this managing your time category. So we're looking at managing your time and prospecting for leads. And you'll see um, you know, when I show you shortly how you tie it to the actual media group of content. So these are your questions. Like I said earlier, there's not always a right and a wrong. It's not black and white all the time. So in this case, I, I was asked this question about my sales activities. Well, I definitely, browsing the internet is a definite no. So I have that as a zero weighted. And I have review my calendar as 100 weighted. And so this is my scoring, basically. If I answer this one, this one, this one, and this one, everything from 100 to zero accumulates my points. And I have the ability to have an answer explanation to kind of reinforce why the question was right, right or why the question was wrong. 
And again, same thing for each of my questions that are in the, in the system, in my assessment here. Um, so now when I get to the user results page, and again, for those answers, assessment questions, I can have as many as I want. There's no limitation. Um, you can randomize pooling of those questions. You can say, hey, of my pool of 100, just show me 20 questions at a time and randomize all sorts of things from questions and answers. Uh, you control the results page, who sees what, um, and what the result message says. Again, you control that back here. You control the report as well. So like I said, you get a beautiful looking PDF that gives you all the information that's in the online version, but in a nice condensed PDF branded for them, you control that messaging in there as well. Uh, you, so you can control the intro, you can control the conclusion, and everything else is pre-populated based on the questions and answers they answered, the categories of data that they failed or passed, and then that's all included in here. And then your user statistics page, how people um, you know, actually got the results on the end page, you control what that says as well. So again, a lot of things you can do here. And the big thing is, as far as appearance goes, whatever you have, your knowledge and site branded, um, your banner, your logo, your look and feel, all of that carries over into the Knowledge Pilot reporting and also into the Knowledge Pilot PDF. And again, you just pick your branding and look and feel over there. I was in as eLearning Brothers, so that's why I'm seeing a logo, that's why I'm seeing a banner, the accent colors and so forth. All of that pulls over because it's basically um, a component of the Knowledge Link LMS. So you control all of that back here. Um, you know, so it's a really fun, easy to use assessment, but very powerful with the features and functionality you can provide. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm, you know, really excited about the Knowledge Pilot application. It actually where all of the LXP functionality is going in this Knowledge Link application. So, Andrew, I'm on any questions there are, I can answer them now. Um, um, as you are the uh, senior LMS and LXP consultant, there are a couple questions about those uh, that in, so when we acquired, uh, when eLearning Brothers acquired uh, the Knowledge Link platform, we also acquired Trevantis and all of its products. Uh, so there's a couple questions about uh, course mill in relation to, uh, to, the, to this new Knowledge Pilot program. Yeah, so Course Mill, um, you know, Course Mill is obviously a standalone LMS platform that um, you know is still active, still being supported, still being maintained. Uh, but all of this new functionality and technology is built, being built into the Knowledge Link LMS platform. Um, so future releases, Knowledge Pilot, that's very much a core component of the Knowledge Link LMS. Um, so Course Mill is not going away. Course Mill is still maintained and supported, but this new functionality. Um, LXP functionality, knowledge pilot functionality is all being built into the knowledge link LMS. Um, so we've been working with a, a number of different course mill customers to kind of assess their needs, assess their, you know, what's important to them in a platform and kind of working out transition plans over to the new latest and greatest in knowledge link. So I'm happy to have that conversation with anyone that's um, interested or having, you know, questions deeper into that. Fantastic. All right. So coming back to the knowledge pilot uh, use, if the employee tests out uh, on an assessment, will the system mark required or recommended training as complete on the date they pass the assessment? Won't mark it in their in their transcript per se. Just won't enroll it to them automatically. So they it will be logged that the yes they passed on the assessment side. They do not need sales training 101, and we. It, that'll register in the Knowledge Pilot application, but their transcript, it won't show the course itself as completed because it still, it'll then just be an elective course for them inside of it. They can still go in and take it as they want. Um, so it'll, yes, it'll show up that they passed, it don't need that one in Knowledge Pilot. And on the training side, on the LMS side, uh, that course will just still be elective for them, just won't be auto-enrolled. Okay, wonderful. Um, uh, I do want to throw out that uh, I believe Knowledge Pilot is is uh, accessible through the free trial of Knowledge Link. Is that right? It can be turned on in the free trial. It's not in the default one, but you know if someone wants to try it, uh, we can turn it on 
yes, that free trial program is available and we can we can likely just turn it on a knowledge pilot instance and walk you through how it works. Okay, excellent. So that is that is definitely something that we can if you're very interested in it, uh let us know and we can we can set it up so you can try it. Um is Absolutely. the knowledge pilot brand uh is it brand new or has it been around for a while? No, Knowledge Pilot came out and launched earlier this year, probably I think January, February. Uh, so it's been out. It's you know continues to be maintained and you know involves with like the new thing being the premium course assessments. Like we noticed that a lot of people, while some people could create their own assessments, um, you know, with no problem, we noticed some people had hurdles and were needed help creating assessments. So that's when we just launched recently the the premium assessments um, option. We can get off the shelf one. So, yeah, it's been around and it's um, been pretty well tested. Excellent. Uh, no other questions at this time, other than you know where to go and try it. Um, Perfect. I can I can give that information unless you had something else you wanted to share. No, that is it. I mean, I'm I'm open if anyone has any questions after this, wants to set up a personal one-on-one -on -one with seeing the application in more detail, whether it's the LMS, LXP, or specifically the Knowledge Pilot. Um, use me as a resource. I'm there to answer any questions or you know, be a resource that I can. Okay, great. So I'll, I'm going to take the screen back again, and I'm just going to put this up on, on uh, the screen for a moment. Um, you can access a free trial by going to elearningbrothers.com, and then in the top navigation, we have a section labeled uh, Learning Management System. Click on that, and then click Free Trial, and you can log in. And if you would like to request that you can try out the Knowledge Pilot, not just the Knowledge Link LMS, uh, please let us know. You can send an email to info at elearningbrothers.com, or give us a call. The number's there on your screen. And uh, in, the, in the email we send in a few hours that has the recording to this webinar, I'll include a meeting link for Peter. So if you have specific questions for Peter about what he's presented today or use cases of Knowledge Pilot, you can set up a meeting there and, uh, and, and work those things out. Thanks, everybody, for joining. We're, we're shorter today, but I, I feel like we got the information that uh, we were looking for. So thanks, everybody, for joining us. Thanks, Peter, for your time, and we'll see you guys all next time. Thank you.